The very first day of Lent after Ash Wednesday, I believe on Thursday after Ash Wednesday, the gospel is Jesus inviting us to take up our cross. Unless you take up your cross every day, he says, you cannot follow me. And we listen to that and we say, yes, we know the cross. But really, without the cross, our lives make no sense. Everything in our culture, in our life, is about our comfort. Our technology, the way every latest model of of car that comes out has new features, new buttons, sort of making sure that you can just go on and practically not drive the thing yourself and focus on other things such as Facebook or Twitter or whatever, or watching a movie. Comfort is not what we are made for, though. We're made for greatness. We're made for amazing things, and ultimately we're made for glory. But because we are away from our homeland, because we are in the state of sin, Christ comes and he dies for us, and we join him, and our joining to him is a joining in his death before it is a joining in his resurrection. And in Lent, we are reminded about the reality of the cross. How do we look at the cross? How do we embrace the challenges that life sends us? Yes, we are frustrated. Yes, we are annoyed. But are these opportunities truly to see the Lord drawing us closer to him and following the cross? in uniting our suffering with him, with his suffering, with his redemptive suffering, so that our small acts or great acts of suffering united to him participate in the salvation of the world. Take up your cross and follow me. He's inviting us this Lent. We cannot ever, ever truly call ourselves disciples of Jesus Christ, the one who died and rose, unless we ourselves are willing to die to ourself, to sin, to our slothfulness, to our base desires. Let Christ reign in us, and then with the cross, through the cross, we will await the resurrection.